Opening statement, you know, I thought that was a hard-fought game. Um, I thought both teams competed uh, at a very high, high level and competed hard. Um, I, I thought we did some really good things. Um, I liked our defense. You know, we held their, their field goal percentage low and we held their three-point shooting percentage low. I liked the fact that we responded back uh, on a couple of occasions when they made runs at us uh, with stops and baskets. And, um, you know, I, I feel like this was a good first step and we need to just be stay focused and continue to work and try to get better every day. All right, Coach, uh, just what do you think of Matt today and really what he's done these three games? Hey, he's all right. <laughs> um, you know, I, I said this in the beginning of the year, and I didn't just say it to throw things out there. I, I think Matt's going to have a terrific year. I, I think he's going to have a breakout year. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's it, it, it's a pretty easy observation to make because, um, you know, it, it, if you watch him on a daily basis, I mean, he's a very focused young man. Uh, he's a very intelligent young man. Um, he, he accepts coaching. He works extremely hard. Um, so it, it's an easy observation to make that he's going to have a terrific year. I, I felt that in the beginning of the year, and I feel that now. And the next step for him is now, as he continues to grow, he's going to be a scouting report guy. Stop him. And now he's got to you know, learn to respond to that, and I have full confidence that he will. If you say a guy has a scorer's mentality, what does that mean to you? I think, How would you define Well, that? I think one of the hardest things in basketball uh, on offense is knowing when to pass and when to shoot. You know, and, and uh, there's a saying that I really believe in that, you know, the best players in the world offensively, they, they know when to uh, solo and when to be in time with the rest of the orchestra. And uh, I think Matt definitely has a great feel for that, you know. Um, and, and that's, you know, that's something learned as you grow and mature as a player. And that's something you got to be willing to learn, too. Um, and, and that's what that means to me. Do you think he looks like he's going after it, like he's on a playground in Brooklyn? What do you think about that? I don't think they play in the playgrounds in Brooklyn anymore, do they? That, that's kind of it's kind of down by the that? wayside. He's, like he's, he, he's got a New York game, absolutely. He okay. got a, he got a city game. He scores different ways, um, but you know, here's the thing: and we're talking about his scoring right now. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I got to look again, but I think he had a double double. Did he not? Twenty three, ten. Ten rebounds, and he had five assists. You know, and and you know, there's a block shot in there, two and three steals. So we're discussing his scoring, which is great, you know, and I want him to score. But, you know, I don't want to overlook the fact that he helps us in a lot of ways. It's not just scoring. Well, it's just being coachable. Um, I worked hard all summer to get where I'm at now, and my teammates really believe in me. How so, did, what do you mean you worked hard? They'll describe that. What, what ways did you work hard over Well, summer? weight room-wise, I put on probably like 20 pounds from, 20 to 30 pounds from last year. So that helps me like get to the basket easier, finish plays, and that helps me get in the cracks of the team, of the other team's defense. And last year, uh, I felt that I should have made more shots, wide open shots. So I've been in the gym shooting at fast paces, making myself uncomfortable, so that when I get to the game, it's easier to make shots. What do you weigh? Probably 185. Is there a difference in your mentality, you know, coming in year two, uh, just just being a little bit more comfortable in where you're at and, and who you're playing with and all that? Um, definitely. Well, it's just from experience. I'm I'm really trying to um, become a better leader for the team. That's that's really what I'm trying to do now. Justin, those threes look pretty good. I mean, they looked like they were going in when they left your hand. <laughs> um, is that? Can we expect this? Are you? Is that a freak? Was this an uh, you know like a a fluke, or are you gonna nah, hit nah. some threes for this? No, nah, this is <laughs> this is every game day thing. Uh, I work hard every day with Coach Reem after practice. We um, put the work in, and it's showing the results right now. So did, did you sh you shot some threes? They let you shoot some threes at St. Petersburg, right? I mean, it oh was, yes, sir. Yeah. Right. I mean, were you a decent amount of threes, right? I mean, they could, yeah. So as he basically said, give you, giving you the green light, you can shoot it whenever you want. Yeah, yeah, you can say that, but you know, I still got my. Oh, I'm offense. waiting for yeah. this answer. Right? <laughs> Let me sit back. Go ahead. My my focus with this team on offense, defense, every area is let's just get better every day, mm -hmm. every day. Just get better. That's what my focus is. And today we got better. 